What's going on guys, WRG Blackheart here, and today I'm going to be showing you another classic rare game I got off eBay. I'll show it to you in a jiffy. And here it is, Namco Museum Volume 4, the fourth game in the Namco Museum Volume series, or whatever. In this game, it... This game is about you in a in a museum that's in a city that's similar to either Tokyo or Seattle or whatever city that has this one of those pen towers or something. And so here are the five classic games. Assault the Tank Shooter Game, Genji and the Heike Clan, an Adventure Game, The Return of Ishtar, an RPG that's a sequel to The Tower of Druaga, Ordeen, Side-Scrolling, Shooter Game, and Pac-Land, an Adventure Game. Well, actually, Genji and the Heike Clans is an action arcade game. Yeah, this... Got this on eBay for sixty four ninety eight, which that was good. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only one I found that's cheap. I have all four volumes of Namco Museum, and there's one more to go. And that's the rarest, like the very rarest one of all. Namco Museum, Volume 5. If I collect... The last game, I will finally complete my own Namco Museum volume collection. I'm not counting Namco Museum Encore because that's released only in Japan, and I don't count Japanese import games. My nephew Tristan, he turned five and is kind of a gamer. He just mostly watches TV and watches YouTube. He's all, he, he may be five, but he's, I wouldn't say anything about him, but, like, not bad. But he's just a goofy kid. Yeah. Yeah, one day I might get him an original PlayStation console. Yeah, the, the one released in the mid-90s. And here are some of the games I might get him. Croc. 1 and 2, then Spongebob Squarepants in, Super Sponge, and one rare game if I could find it if I have enough money, Klonoa Door de Fantomo. Here that game is very, very rare for kids. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's a teen or an adult game, it's just a child, it's just a Let's just say it's just a game for kids that's very, very rare. Like $500 if used in complete edition, but if it's newly sealed, they want 500 more for that. It's like buying both a PS5 and an Xbox Series X. Yeah. In Assault, I know the game is about the year 2199 where... They are on the search for a new planet of Earth, and then a tank with both sides, top and bottom, can use them to their advantage to move left or right to dodge the fire from enemy tanks. And then a hovering platform where you shoot grenades while spinning in air. In Pac-Land, it's where you play as Pac-Man wearing a Robin Hood type hat with a feather, er, where he goes to fairy world to help bring back the fairy, re, re, so that Packland and the fairy world could be together in peace, without the ghosts startling Pac-Man's adventure. Oradina is a space, I mean, it's not space, it's a side-scroll shoot, plane shooting game. I don't mean, like, plane. I meant 
plane jets. You know, one of those old-fashioned planes that, you know, fly. Yeah, yeah you only play... The game is mostly about you flying a pl plane or jet to take out enemy fighters and other stuff that's in the air. The Return of each star it's where Gil and Key are on another adventure somewhere where that's similar to the Tower of Druaga. But here's the thing though. Make sure none of these characters, if you're playing as Key or want to play both of them, make sure none of them or one of them get killed. Because if one of them gets killed, it's game over. If you have a save checkpoint, you can, you know, load up game where you last moved on to. And then the Genji and the Heike clans, it's where you're playing as an undead warrior in ancient Japan from 1196. And then you're trying to fight off the evil, evil Japanese warrior that has taken over most of the villages from the Heike clans. So yeah. If I find volume 5 for a cheap price like 150, I would be happy to buy that once I get enough money. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hold on. Okay guys, if you're if you're liking this video, Video, like, if you liked my new video today of uh, the game I showed you that was rare, comment below, and if you like the sound of the game that's rare for the PlayStation, subscribe to my YouTube channel, WRG Blackheart, and smash the like button, and I'll see you guys later.